Hello, welcome. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and I am an angel healer and holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of December 22nd, 2013. This is Christmas week, and how wonderful that we're able to celebrate uh, in the most joyous and positive and loving way. And uh, those who will be celebrating with family and friends, uh, a lot of peace to come to you. And there are some that will be alone on Christmas. And uh, look at your blessings. Go and do some charity work. Um, spend some time away from your home and, and enjoy um, treating someone. Uh, you know, do something from the heart, giving is this time of year for giving. And when you give, you will receive. And of course, being most grateful and showing gratitude. So I had already called upon the angels, the archangels and God to come and uh, guide my reading today. And I will select one card from three different decks. I can never pick a wrong card because of law of attraction. So I'm gonna start off our reading with the life purpose cards. And I'm going to shuffle them and we'll see what our first card for the week is. We're having a kind of a heat wave here in the, up in the Philadelphia area. I live north of Philadelphia and um, it's quite warm today for the first day of winter. <laughs> the winter sol solstice is, is upon us and tonight will be the longest night of the year. <laughs> and then after today, the days will start getting longer until uh, the summer solstice. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle and continue shuffle. And, okay, I'm gonna cut the deck and we'll see what our first card for the week is. It's infinite abundance. And it says you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. You know, uh, some people tell me they don't know what their purpose is or what they're supposed to be doing and how they're supposed to be living their lives. But the truth is we really do know. <laughs> uh, we're so bogged down with the ego and what society wants us to do. and We get confused. But if we release all the negative or worries or concerns that we have um, on us, if we release them and surrender them and make our spiritual load lighter, then we can hear our angels and hear our guidance. I know there's, uh, I've heard many people who go to college and study one thing and come out and do something totally different. So follow your path and you'll know um, when you're, when you devote yourself to your divine purpose and who you're supposed to be, you are fully supported. It's just going to, doors are going to open. Things are going to happen and you will get abundance. You will be blessed in that. So the next set of cards are the romance cards and we'll see what the romance angels have to say. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut the deck. We'll see what the card comes up. It's, the card is retreat. And it's telling us it's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, so we have the infinite abundance and our life's purpose. And it's telling us to disconnect from the wor world. Retreat, maybe go away, take some time with a loved one, with uh, just you and them, whether it's a romantic partner or a soulmate or, um, or both, <laughs> or a friend. Take time and enjoy the peace and quiet. Disconnect from the rest of the world. And this is perfect on holiday time because we will have a few days off. And uh, those who have children, I know it's going to be lively in your home and things like that. But you want to take time. And, and connect with your spiritual self and your, and your divine purpose and with the loved one and, and have a nice little time 
by yourselves. Go to a movie, go to dinner, anything like that. It would be great just to disconnect from the world. Maybe just cuddle on the sofa <laughs> and just go for a, a walk and just see just each other and spending time with your energies with that. So a little retreat that romance angels are suggesting. <laughs> so the next set of cards are the Archangel Power cards. And we'll see what the Archangels have to say. And you know, I, I really believe our life's purpose, the first card, is, and it's great for this week, Christmas week, is giving uh, to others from our, our heart. And uh, from our heart and, and this time of year. So our, our purpose is to have peace and to give peace, that's everyone's purpose. And you do that by finding it and lifting uh, all the, the weight that's on you. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna cut the deck. Oh, cards are sliding all over the place. It's the three of Raphael. And there's three beautiful mermaids on the card <laughs> and they're smiling and it says reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children <laughs> this is great uh, you know our the angels are telling us to follow our divine purpose and I think they're talking since it's Christmas week time for peace giving peace and finding peace within ourselves and retreating spending some time alone to disconnect from the world and there's reason to celebrate and we'll see that a community of friends people coming together and uh relationships will grow and um and also celebration with children <laughs> can't ask for anything better for christmas week right and then the last uh cards are the archangel michael prayer cards and we'll see what our prayer is for the week There's a whole bunch of geese flying overhead. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> Squawking as they're flying. Okay, I'm gonna cut to death. And it says, believe and trust. And the card reads, before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace my fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. And it's a good, I think it's a good card for Christmas because this time, especially if you're lonely, you may have some fear, you may have um, uh, not, your faith has weakened and your trust and you want to pray for Michael to come and help you with that even uh, if you're not alone sometimes people who are not alone um, and they're around a bunch of people can be very lonely at Christmas time and the best way to clear depression and loneliness is to help those who are less fortunate than you and give them peace and joy and that just lifts your spirits make you feel really 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 good so so maybe you do some volunteer work. So I thank you for being with me. I wish you a very merry and joyous Christmas. Please visit my website at cindyshealing.com. I had posted uh, the Angel Month and Month uh, reading for 2014. So check it out and see what the angel message for each month of, of the year next year. And um, I do have my live chats on Wednesday night, but they will be postponed until January 8th because of Christmas and New Year's. So until then, I wish you lots of joy and happiness. Have a wonderful Christmas. And I will have my weekly video for next week as well for the new year. So enjoy, celebrate, be wonderful. Know that you are powerful when you're in the knowing, when you have God, Jesus, Descendant Masters, the Archangels and Angels with you, you become powerful. 
So until next week, I'm going to say bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget, like me on Facebook. <laughs> and you can see my daily uh, messages on Facebook as well. So, okay. So bye-bye. Lots of blessings and love from me to you.